Hey guys, welcome to Draw Kings. I'm Pat. And I'm Evan. And today, we're doing Fantasy or Nightmare. So Evan, what's Fantasy or Nightmare? Fantasy and Nightmare is we're going to try to draw out um, either our Fantasy or our Nightmare. In this case, Pat's going to be uh, in charge of Fantasy. I'm doing and fantasy. I'm going to be doing uh, Nightmare. And we're going to be uh, sketching it out in 15-minute uh, intervals. So Pat, Oh, we don't even have we don't have a timer yet, but I guess we'll just look at the clock, right? Yeah, we'll just look at the clock. We'll wing it. We'll All do right. it old school. Cool beans. So it's 4-11 right now. Yeah. You guys see that down there. All right, cool. So, fantasy. What the hell is my fantasy? All right. Well, I've, you know. You I've got, got one. I've got one. Don't you worry about it. I've got one. I believe you, Pat. All right. Let's see. Uh, do you like the pink color? Yeah, I love the pink. I, I think it really uh, it goes well with your eyes. <laughs> I mean, the audience can't see that, but you know, that's just my personal take on it. Well, I really, truly appreciate your compliments. Go a long way. Yeah, they really do. Every honestly, day, especially with me, buddy. Get a compliment you know, <laughs> every day. You hear that, kiddies? Compliment people. It helps. It helps. So yeah. obviously, you can't tell what I'm doing yet, but I promise you, it'll be glorious. So uh, it looks like you've drawn like a little, little head there. Yeah, it's kind of it's a face. It's a face. All right, so um, maybe I should maybe I should try and block in the whole character before I. Yeah, just go for it. Just go. Do anything else? Okay. So here is my idea. What I've always wanted. I mean, you know, I've wanted shit like I want to fly, and uh, you know, I want to, you know, Super be a powers, superhero yeah. and all that stuff. But this is something I think I could actually accomplish. And what that is is eventually I want to make a Velociraptor. You're going to have a Velociraptor. Soon. I'm going to create a Velociraptor from the eggs of an ostrich, which I've heard about, by the way. It's, it's That's in Jurassic Park. Well, they no. Use, they used the frog they, DNA. Yes, yeah, so no. What they did what they did was they, they actually found DNA of a dinosaur, and they split it with frog DNA and used that to... So they spliced thing. it with frog DNA. Right, and so in, instead, what... I've actually realized um, by watching some uh, of the Discovery Channel. Oh, my, my dad's favorite. Your dad's favorite. Yeah, he like watched that stuff all day. Sweet. All Mine day. too. I would watch it all the time. I like History Channel, you know, Finding Bigfoot, anything really cool. But what they've said is that the best way to go about um, doing a, any kind of a dinosaur isn't actually to find dino DNA because that's more or less impossible. Come on, I'm getting a phone call. A phone call, wow. Yeah, fucking Missouri, which means that... It, it means you not a real in Missouri. No, it means it's not a real person. These assholes are always trying to... Yeah, I, I get one with a foghorn when they call me. First thing that happens is I open the phone up and I hear a big foghorn in my ear. And it's like... Oh, that, no, that's the beep. That's the, uh... That's, that's your phone, or their... They have an automatic dialer. I was a telemarketer, did I tell you that? Yeah, you, you said for a while you were doing marketing. Okay, so what they have is an automatic dialer, and they aren't calling you. The system is calling you. And what happens is any time the system sees that a person on the other end is picked up, they connect it to the operator that's on the phone, and the, you hear a beep, and that beep is them being connected by the system. Oh, no, no, this is actually a recording of a foghorn. It's, it's a fake. It was a, it's a scam. It tells you that you won tickets to some cruise. Oh. No, it's like a literal foghorn. Oh, like, okay. And then you're like, what the heck? It's kind of messed up. It's really messed up. Not, not like an old person or someone that could get tricked by that. I don't know. Someone who doesn't realize that it's not real. Not assuming old people don't, but you know, <laughs> seems like they would be the population to be a scam. Yeah, I would say, I would say, old people are probably. I mean, I, I don't, you know what? I don't want to go into like political leanings or anything, and I, I know you don't know why I'm going there right now. Yeah, I don't even know why you're going. My there. grandmother is is someone that watches Fox News a lot, and she gets uh, a lot of a lot of crazy information from Fox News, and doesn't really. Um, no, actually, no. I understand what, uh, why she does that. I mean, Fox News is probably my like second favorite fantasy show, other than maybe like <laughs> like Lord of the Rings. Like, I mean, I love Lord of the Rings, but like my favorite fantasy show of all time is Fox News. Yeah, 
Yeah, they got I, some really no seriously, they got some really cool storylines on there. I listened to Bloomberg, and that's not a joke. Um, it isn't because I believe anything those fools say. It isn't because I am Republican, though I'm not going to give anyone shit if they are Republican, because Republicanism is not the problem. The problem is radicalism. Well, radicals radicalizing it. a theory. A it's just a way of thinking. It's also also, it's about, remember that it's about a, money. A political party isn't necessarily a TV station. Well, yeah, a TV station kind of piggybacks off of it. Well, I mean, the the donors for the TV station are, you know, are members of that of, right. of that political line. No, oh, I get you. No, oh, I get you. So, so you were going back to your grandma. So she she right. so she's the uh, my my grandma is very um, she's very fond of Fox News, and um, she tends to believe almost everything that she hears at Fox News. And, you know, then says things like, I hate Obama and all sorts of stuff like that. And I understand why people in general hate Obama, but the stuff that she says is not really in line with the track record. It's not really a, a truism of his yeah, term yeah, and no, office. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. But, like, um, so, so what, what is that? Who's the guy with the foghorn you're talking about? Like... Like, you know, oh, well, we were just talking about, you know, people, old people being tricks. very susceptible. To oh, absolutely. Well, no, I don't think it's old things. people. I think it's just people in general. Um, I think I think that the reason sometimes old people are is because the technological gap. So they assume that if someone sends mail or someone says uh, sends them a text or a call, that, it, that there, there's some sort of familiarity. Right, right. That it's with, not. That it's not just that a it's scam. Not just, yeah, exactly. And I think that think that's where the learning curve is with that. But yeah, yeah, I, my, my grandparents have gotten that stuff, but they don't listen to it. Uh, my grandpa, my grandpa's like funny. He's in his nineties, but he's shrewd. <laughs> Looks through all the mail. He thinks there's like a bunch of conspiracy theories. It's hilarious. That's cool. Well, he thinks that like you know the person who's like changing his like prescription from like ten milligrams to twelve milligrams is behind this like world network scheme. And uh, I, 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 I mean, I, I like that though. That's the kind of that's the kind of grandfather I can get. By. Oh, oh, he's mean. I mean, he's mean. So um, oh, okay. So yeah, I he know he's great. No, I, I I love I love hanging out with him. But like he's just you know I like, brought my friend in the room one time and he I mean, like put up. You know, look up at him or anything. It's hilarious. <laughs> okay, yeah, he is. He's he's you know what he is. He's like a great. He's like a great heist movie character. He'd be that like old guy that they get to like join the <laughs> crew to help them get you know whatever money right, they need. Right, to get. I get it. Yeah. Well, and then he goes on some rant about who's scamming him when they're not scamming him at all. They just don't care. I mean, but I you know what I like stuff like that as long as like you know they're not talking about. Um, well, they're not sp spitting out any ignorant information. Right, exactly. I don't I don't like I don't like to have to agree with or ignore really stupid ignorant stuff um just because somebody is very paranoid or whatever. Yeah, but that could fit in exactly. That's going to leak into other areas of life too. It's not going to you know, everyone wants some boogeyman to blame for the stuff. So like, you know, I think like, I wish everyone should use the boogeyman instead. Like, oh, the reason I'm not feeling good these days is because of the boogeyman or my tax is this, the boogeyman, or you know, I mean, like, right. it just—it's a go-to. It's a—it's an evil—it's an evil, it's an evil you know, mythological villain, <laughs> and I think that's kind of good. I think everyone secretly wants a mythological hero and villain in their life. Yeah, you know, makes things a little bit more culpable. So uh, this is me. Um, is this—is this like your childhood fantasy here? No, actually, my biggest childhood fantasy was to fly. Really? Like, you were really into flying? I, yeah, I've actually, I've actually jumped out of a window before when I was very young, um, trying to be Superman or Batman. I think I was wearing a Superman. Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty brave. Yeah, I mean, I think it was stupid. I was young. I, I was under the impression that I, I wouldn't get hurt if, um, you know, if I was wearing a Superman cape, which is obviously a misguided <laughs> belief. But, yeah, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. No, I, I remember uh, as a kid, I, I, I had too many fantasies. I had too many, oh, this would be so cool. I always wanted, like, I always thought it would be so cool to, like, make the biggest diorama or something. Like, I thought that was the cool, that was the epitome of coolness. Like, 
Oh, well, all the other kids are going to make a diorama for a uh, for project. I want the diorama with, it's like a table-sized one, you know. It's super <laughs> long and huge, and it's got like this, are you like the animals in it and stuff. Are you specifically talking about dioramas, or do you mean... Like, like that's like the types of fantasies I'd have. I wouldn't even think Just like being a, a well-rounded, uh, like, student. Like, some, like, if there's something going no, on... No, it was just showing how small my world was. I was like, oh yeah, that's great. Like, I'll be real cool if I have a cool dinosaur diorama. <laughs> That's going to really set me ahead a couple years. I mean, I think that's a much better uh, way to live than I did. Um, when I was young, I, uh, I was born in Indiana, right? And I did whatever I wanted. And I don't mean like I was a you know little brat who ignored my parents. I, I mean, I may have been in, in, to a certain extent, but I, you know, I got, and I got in a lot who, of trouble. Who, who, who was it? Well, yeah, right. But, you know, and I, and I did get in a lot of trouble when I was in school, when I was younger. Um, but the point is, my family had to move. My family wanted to move. And when this happened, I started thinking about my time in Indiana much differently than um, I think it actually was. I started thinking that, uh, you know, that I was, I was well-liked and I was really cool. And even if that was true... Um, it, there was a shift when when I moved. I was like, "Can you stop checking your phone?" It's really like it's getting to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking your time, bro. Oh, okay. Well, I actually, as I was saying that, it occurred to me that that's what you were doing. And um, but you know how like when you once you start something, you can't really. No, you got to go keep going, man. Yeah. I was gonna say you're actually on time for pretty pretty nicely. Like I wouldn't want to brush right now. <laughs> I would say like uh, you start at 4:11. It's 4:22. Keep going. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not doing bad. No, you're not doing bad at all. You got like a couple minutes. Well, can I, am I, I guess, I guess uh, I don't want to go over my time. No, just, yeah, figure it out. Figure it out. Okay. I'll, uh, you got this. You can, you can, oh yeah, you're really coming along over there. You can put, pop some claws on there, put a tail on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting, I mean, give I'm, him a Snoopy face, maybe. I'm going to, you think, you want, well, the thing is. This is my fantasy. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I don't like mean that. to rewrite your fantasy. I'm just saying, like, Snoopy, like that. If I Because had... your head on there looks like, kind of like Charlie Brown. You're right, it does. So bit. I was thinking about, like, dinosaur Snoopy and dinosaur Charlie Brown, or, or prehistoric. Well, I, I'm, I always think, um, so, what's the... Uh, um, well, that looks like a Deinonychus. That's like the big raptor. Yeah, that's. I'm talking about the one from uh, Jurassic Park, you know what I'm that's saying? That's a Velociraptor. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, they got that nice. They've got that curve. Right yeah, there. You, you, yeah. You nailed it, though. The ones in, in Jurassic Park had big, big bulbous eyes. Freaky. Yeah, like that. It looks, they look very maniacal. <laughs> so, um, I watched that movie a hundred times. Yeah, that that was uh, that I, was my movie. My first my first time watching that was in Indiana, actually. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Um. Anyway, my, my really boring, annoying story, I'm sure it is. Uh, no, it's not boring. Keep going. Well, the whole point of the story is that when I got back, uh, when I got to um, New Jersey, I started uh, approaching life as if I want to get back the, um, you know, the amazing glory, days. The glory that I had when I was in Indiana. And what I what happened is I lost sight of, you know, who I am as a person, what I liked. Um, That's great. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get rid of this one. I gotta do the other one. I lost sight of who I am as a person, and what I decided was most important to me was um, being popular, and uh, and so I stopped doing what I wanted. I started. Um, trying to figure out what people liked in New Jersey and That's how to and how to get them to you know like me by doing those things and um, it was really unfortunate you know I really lost sight of what was important. Well, when did you move from Indiana? How old were you? I was eight. Oh, okay, all right. So you were pretty young. Yeah, yeah but that carries a pretty big. I mean, those years, those beginning years, do uh, carry a lot of weight. You know, but I had. I had it all figured out when I was in Indiana, and really all that you need to figure out is do what makes you happy. Yeah, that's you know? what we're doing right now. 
Yeah. And, you know, when you get to college, you realize that, you know, who cares about what people think and, um, you know, and, and then, you know, strangely enough, that's the key to popularity is not wanting it. And, you know, if you don't want it and, you know, half the time you're not going to be popular because of, you know, whoever you are and what you like and all of that stuff. But um, if there ever was a chance, it's only going to happen if and when you decide to stop giving a shit. <laughs> So. I guess that's where we come to uh, now. I think that's where we are now. Yeah. Not giving, giving a damn by not giving a damn. Doing pretty good. You're like, you're, you're on time right now. Really? You're still, you're, you're at 15 minutes right now. Well, then I'm not quite on time. Well, I mean, impressive. Is that your like maniacal toddler self? Yeah. Toddler self? That's awesome. Very Calvin. Very Calvin? Very Calvin, yeah. I remember when I was introduced to Calvin and Hobbes, that was like a, that was like, that was a huge jump. I was yeah. like, wow, I couldn't believe that there's an entire comic series about the interworkings of a child's mind. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, I, lo I love. I was, because I was never a big Charlie Brown fan or like any of the Peanut stuff. And then when I saw Calvin and Hobbes, just because it was so cynical, I, th I thought it was great. I'm thinking that uh, I'm going to have a whip in this hand because here's the thing about velociraptors. They're very difficult to control. They're very smart. Right. They're very smart. And um, especially if you're a kid, like apparently I am in this scenario, um, they're not going to think of you as anything other than freaking a delicious dude that's on my back. Um, and so it's, it's going to be very difficult to manage them unless you show them immediately who's boss. You're right. And you probably have to do it when they're young so that they, when they grow up, they still live with you as an authority figure. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. this is probably raised by you. It's about the same age as you. Yeah, actually. Um, the, 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 here's the story behind me and this velociraptor. Okay. I, um, I was given this, uh, I was given this kit, this science kit when I was very young. And I saw the Discovery Channel thing, where it said that the only way that we can actually create dinosaurs these days is to reverse engineer them from birds. Um, so instead of finding DNA, you've got to go out and get yourself a turkey. Right. You 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 go in and you have to um, and you have to figure out what turns feathers to scales and um, what turns, uh, you know, uh, the tail feathers to a tail and all that. Well, if you look at birds, I mean, there was this really funny thing on TV the other day. It was like a bunch of turkeys in Connecticut were, were blocking a, or the road and like it was a huge traffic jam. Turkeys are fucking assholes. No, they are, dude. No, no, seriously, they are. I've I, had there's a bunch happen. of them by my house. Yeah. I've, have you ever been blocked by a turkey? Oh, I've been blocked by tons. Of, I, they crowded my car once. Yeah, time and they were pecking at my same whole thing. Car. Old Japan. It Old was, Japan. Yeah, yeah, that's where it was. Those turkeys on the corner. Yeah, in the I, doorway. Yeah, I had, yeah, a, I, had wow. a, I had my BB gun in the car though. Oh shit! I had an airsoft gun in, in the car when that happened, and uh, yeah, and I shot the little bastard. Oh, it didn't damn. freaking move. No, see, I, I wouldn't have shot them. No, no, it was an airsoft. It was a little. No, I know an airsoft is. I got jumped in. This thing, it, you know, it was a bunch of cars beeping at me to go, and um, what else you can do? Yeah, so I freaking I shot the thing with a, or shot at it. I don't know. It didn't. It didn't move. Still, I had to back up and go that's, around. It. That's the thing. You have to like honk your horn. You could. You I could, did. You could honestly come up and smack it, and it may not even move. It's they're they're a pain. They're a pain. But yeah, the, these turkeys. But there was a photo. I guess a guy took like a shot. Like it was some kind of car cam, and uh, the turkeys were chasing the car. And they look like raptors. And they really do run and look like yeah, dinosaurs. Because they absolutely. are dinosaurs. Yeah. I remember when I was like in third grade or something, I got into this argument with my whole class. And I had been maybe one of the only kids that had seen Jurassic Park at that point. And I was like, you know that dinosaurs are not actually reptiles. They're birds. And everyone thought it was ridiculous. They're like, mm -hmm. no, they have scales. They're lizards. And I said, no, 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 they're not lizards, actually. They have a different, you know, this was like a third grade. It was like telling them they're right. hollow, hollow bone structure and certain dinosaurs now 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 there's i guess there's evidence to prove that there's a common link between some breeds to both and but but they were going off of some dictionary or encyclopedia from like 1960 or something and it was saying you know large reptiles so you right. know but i still i still hold that memory fondly because i was a big dinosaur kid yeah as me i too. see you are especially from um 
especially because of Jurassic Park. Oh, I was yeah. Jurassic Park was just was the was the cap. I mean, yeah. I, I was like, I was already into them. I think most. Oh, really? Most, most kids go. I mean, to yeah. Dinosaur phase. You love dinosaurs, regardless. But like Jurassic Park just took it to a whole yeah. new level. Jurassic Park showed you what you know they could look like. Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, the, I was watching it maybe like like six months ago. It still holds up. Yeah. I mean, sure. it's, it, as far as far as a good film, it's a great film acting wise, and also just. A great plot line, but like the the uh, the dinosaurs even still hold today's uh, technology, which is why I like practical effects over um, over uh, CG. I think sometimes when you use too much CG unintentionally, or if you do it to replace practical effects, it sometimes ends up looking. And you know that ridiculous. you know how they how they made the movie. How um, you know how they made Jurassic Park? Yeah, and it was it was overlays. Oh, CG cool. overlays on the on uh, those dinosaurs were giant animatronics. So what do you think? What do you think? I think I'm done. Awesome. I was gonna put them on the moon because that's something I like too. Um, that was gonna be my little twist, but um, no, it's good. I mean, you could put them on the moon if you want, but I mean, no, nah, I've already taken too much time. It's so. great. Yeah. I mean, here's your fantasy. I like him. What's the dinosaur's name? Um, his name. God, it's um, it's Henry. Oh, really? I was I saw him as a Pete. You saw him as a Pete. Yeah, because I, I have a I have a fictional pterodactyl friend named uh, Pterodactyl Pete. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, whenever public transportation is not working, I said, oh, yeah, yeah, I wish I had Pterodactyl Pete. See, that's that's a conversation I'd like to have. I've had that. I've seriously said that to people. Because, well, yeah, you know, walk up, act charming, nice, you know, they engage in a conversation with me, and then I'll just drop the pterodactyl thing and all, right. all sorts of All right, you ready, happens. buddy? I'm ready. All right, let's make this happen. All right, it's Evan's turn, guys. All right, all That's right. That's my dinosaur. Don't destroy it because I'm going to save not. the, save I am the not. picture. I am gonna, I'm going to do... Just move it over, remember? Cool. Cool beans. Right, let me see what color I'm going to choose here. So you're doing you're doing Nightmare, right? Yeah, I'm going to do a Nightmare. I'm thinking of a good color for a Nightmare. Probably bluish kind of thing going on here. Spooky. So it's um, it's a, it's 4.33. Okay, so... Oh, it's actually, it's on it's on the... Uh, it was 11, now it's 4.30, it's 20 minutes, exactly. Oh, okay, cool. So bad. do you want to do 20 minutes? Yeah, let's just do 20 minutes. All right, cool. So, your nightmare. Now, I'm drawing it up with a pencil first, just trying to get this idea down. I have a different drawing style. Pat is a great cartoonist. I'm uh, also, I can also do the sketching, but... Of course you don't know. I know you can. For me, I just like to outline it, give myself a good outline here. Now, where this all came from is, um, you know... I'm just laying her out. So, uh, Pat said, you know, draw a nightmare of yours. And I was thinking of all of these nightmares, and I don't know, I'm kind of weird, so I think a lot of nightmarish things are funny. So I decided to not resist that and just go with it. So I kind of want to draw, like, a bunch of, like, praying mantis women. <laughs> or, like, mosquito <laughs> that women is scary. or something. Yeah, because, like, I don't know, there's just something kind of funny but horrifying about yeah. that idea. <laughs> I was watching Rick and Morty the other day with the whole the praying yeah. mantis. I was with you actually. I mean, I watched it like yesterday with. The oh, okay, mantis. okay. But okay. yeah, but that we weren't watching that one. We were watching the Alien one. Yeah, there's an, there's a couple different ones. Yeah. Uh oh, you lost your color. Okay, you got it. I got my color. There we go. See, this is what I envy about you. Um, and you know, I'm I'm getting to it now too. But you've got you you have a photographing memory. Not a photographic memory, but I, I I can draw a lot of things from my head. Like mm -hmm. I can remember if someone asks me to remember a person, it's easiest for me to remember them by the way they looked. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that person. You know, because I'm not gonna remember their name is Jane or Fred or something. That's right. not gonna happen. I, um, I envy that. I I mean, I actually recently I've been I've been getting it recently. I it's it was like a it was a click, like a revelation. Yeah, a couple days ago or uh, maybe a week now, I I began to be able to see. Um, and it's really improved how I've, how I've drawn, but, uh, you, you were the, you were the guy that sort of inspired it, I think. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. that. I mean, I, the work you've been sending over has been awesome. I mean, like Pat's thanks. been working on a lot of stuff right now for his portfolio and, uh, Indeed. he's been just like sending stuff over and said, Hey, check this out. What do you think? And, and the work, I mean, especially in the amount of time, it's only been a couple of weeks. It's just grown and grown and grown i mean it's it's really good stuff thanks man i appreciate that you know so the, this is what a praying mantis face looks like well i'm gonna draw like i'm just drawing the bare bones of it i mean it's it's not necessarily a praying mantis but um you know do you need um some kind of creature you know kind of bug like just insect like 
It'll come together. I mean, it looks awesome. I, I, it reminds me of a mosquito, though. Yeah, well, I'm, I, I can always go to the mosquito. I, I mean, you know, it could be any insect. Mosquito, praying mantis. Because praying mantises, they, they eat the head, right? They, they when once they mate, they, oh, eat, yeah. they eat their mate's head. Oh well, that wasn't. That's even like a double meaning to this. No, no, oh, I'm just, yeah. I'm just drawing these guys because they're like, they're weird. I thought, what's the most horrifying sexy girl? A sexy girl that has a. Well, mosquitoes do some head. weird stuff too. I'm sure. Yeah, but they, you know, they suck blood. I mean, I've, I, I, I'd, I'd be with a vampire, and you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny them my juicy, sexy blood. Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna let them take my blood. That's my blood. Really? I, oh no, hell no, man. I, I get like weird with blood tests. I don't like blood. Really? I mean, I don't. I, I don't, don't mind like if I cut either. myself open. I've, I've gotten pretty injured before, but like that doesn't bother me. It's the extraction. This like. I agree. Maybe I mean, if it's like a tube or something, it bothers me. Yeah, maybe a vampire. Just like blood. seeing the blood flow and knowing it's from your body. Yeah, I guess no. It's the drop actually. The the oh, pressure really? drop. Oh yeah, I've got really my heart rate's like uh, I have like forty seven beats per minute. Jeez. Um, I mean, I know, I know. I mean, that's a pr a fairly common thing to be kind of sickened by is, is blood. Oh, no, no, no. If I see blood all over the floor, I'm not sickened by it at all, actually. No, but just the, with blood, it's like, it's this, it's the thought behind certain things. Like, um, uh, you know, some people, they faint when they just, like, when they think about, you blood. know, yeah, blood or a needle going into them or something like that. And so I understand that. This is awesome, dude. Well, thank you, man. This is really great. So wait, she, so she's this... This beautiful well, this, lady. Has, well, she's gonna be like like a fifties housewife. I think this is really funny. That's like a man stash. That's a that's that's like an old no, school stash. Well, I, yeah, yeah, I know. You, you mean mutton chops? Yeah, mutton chops. No, these aren't mutton chops, man. These are like I was trying to give them like the, the peach fuzz that the bugs have. I liked it. Yeah, let's see. Let's do this, man. I dug it. That was cool. We'll, we'll add something. Like Actually, it. I mean that does look more lady. -like. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't get too. I'm not gonna get too hung up on the details here. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna keep kind of working through the piece, seeing what I like, don't like. You know. See, there you go. I, I was um, once I finished the raptor, I was thinking of shading, but we were out of time, obviously, and you're taking care of it now, which is really intelligent. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just throwing it in there, man. I, I'm just like yours is great. Yours is very linear. Well, it's no, I just cool. mean the shading aspect. It, it adds dimension, so it's like always a good thing to have in your picture. So cool, man! No. It's, a, it's a good thing that you're like adding it as you go. I saw. I should have drawn everything down here, but like, we're gonna go for it. Well, you can decrease the size once once you're done. Uh, do you want? Wait, do you want to decrease? the yeah, size? Yeah, zone and zoom out a little bit. Be great. That's great. Just so I can get a full full spectrum here. Oh, she's beautiful. I, I date her just as is. Yeah, well, I mean, her, her personality is fantastic. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do, yeah do you, what's her name? I, I think Stephanie. That, yeah, she's definitely a Steph. See, it, she's like a girl next door. I type. saw just, her and was like, Stephanie, that's Stephanie. That's a yeah. Stephanie. Well, she's like a girl next door kind of bug, you know? Oh, okay. Does she go to school? No, oh, totally, man. I mean, she's definitely a college age person. I don't, you know. She's a, she's a nurse and, or, or like, what, is she in some kind of field where she's around blood? I don't think so. I think she's just got her own thing going on. I think she just happens to be a mosquito-headed individual. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's not it's not an impediment. No, me. oh, absolutely not. This is life. just this this alternate universe. I think the horror here is the fact that you're gonna fall in love with her because she's so damn cool. <laughs> but like yeah. you know, you're like, oh damn, but she's got a mosquito head and like right. it's like Rocky Dennis. Yeah, like <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Except you're not blind, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it still doesn't work out for him though. You know, I've never seen the full full movie. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's a difficult movie to watch the entirety of, but I have seen it. Well, it's because of that. I always see on TV. I never, you know, I never. I'm like, oh, let me pop in Rocky Dennis when I go home <laughs> and watch that. You know, I'm kind of like, oh, you know, let me let me figure that out later. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but it's funny. I've never gotten around to it because I've seen some pretty stupid movies. I've taken some some time out of my life to do some stupid movies. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think everyone has. Like, I mean, but it's not like you know that they're stupid ahead of time. Oh yeah, I did. Oh yeah, <laughs> what movie? Are you talking I, I, I'm about? talking about like you know when you when you get real sad, you're alone in the house. You're like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna revisit some movies I should have seen when I was a kid. I went through the whole Candyman series. Oh man, I, that is stupid. That it is was crazy. a dumb film series. Yeah. I was just like, why did people even enjoy this? I still haven't. I've watched one Candyman. Maybe don't watch any more of them. I'm the first not... one's the only passable movie. Mm, man. 
Oh, you know what? I um, I re I've been kind of upset because every time I go to Netflix or any of the on-demand stuff, I always see Clerks, but I don't see Clerks too. And I know that a lot of people, you know, they like Clerks, but they don't like Clerks too. I love Clerks. Too. I loved Clerks too. And I actually think I, that a lot of those people are just missing the fact that they're not like twenty anymore. Right. I mean, yeah, Clerks One exactly. is great. Clerks One's great and because I, it's such an innovative, innovative movie. I think, but it is. It doesn't mean it's better. No, it doesn't mean it's better. It's, just, it's obviously there's a huge gap in time. Mm -hmm. I mean, what it was actually it actually wasn't that big. It was probably like twelve years, right, or so. But like you know, the Jay and Silent Bob movies had already come out. Everyone's kind of gotten filled in on how this world operates. Actually, did you know that Kevin Smith has a name for that world? It's called what? the View Askew World. Oh, universe. that's uh, no, he's got the View Askew Studios or whatever. Yeah, but that's like that's the world. The okay. world because the, nice. he uses a lot of the same actors and characters. I mean, Ben Affleck plays a couple characters in that world. Nice. But apparently like Mall Rats and all those are all part of the same universe. That's cool. Which I think is pretty cool. I mean, but it's Earth. Why do you have to name I guess it's just like Well, uh, it's your set of characters. There's a certain you know, whenever you make even when it's Quote, no matter what. Not fantasy. You're still creating your own set of rules. Yeah, I understand. I mean, because the reality that of the characters is a reality that doesn't actually exist in this world, and therefore, even if it's based on... Well, it's like also what was all bad, what was bad about the Ocean's 12 movie. I think Ocean's 11 was great. The uh, remake they did, uh, what, about like 12 years, 10 years ago, 12 years ago? Mm -hmm. And the sequel sucked, in my opinion, because they tried... There was that whole thing with Julia Roberts being another person. And yeah. I, I just thought it was silly. It's like, we're in an alternate world. We don't need to point out who it is. Let's just make make up a fake actress for them to see. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what shows do you like these days? Oh, I mean, I stick with a lot of the ones I've always watched. I mean, I I'm, to tell you the truth, I still watch the McFarlane stuff. I still, yeah, of course. I still think that American Dad and Family Guy has their merits. I think American Dad's hilarious. Yeah, definitely. I actually think at this point, the quality of American Dad is higher than Family Guy. I started watching Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers. That's is really good. Very funny show. Yeah, it's really, really good. Very and it's well show. written, too. It's, it's unique. Rick and Morty is, is obviously Yeah, we have shared that. Favorite. Rick um, and Morty is just brilliant. Yeah. Have you seen the new Mike Tyson? No, I haven't, actually. It's, it's kind of, it's like a 15-minute thing, right? And and the most recent episode, it didn't make, like, any sense. It, it was it was really funny, but it was kind of just like, it's like slapstick humor in the <laughs> sense that the plot line doesn't necessarily have any value. It's just like, it takes them to the next place where they, you know, say something stupid. Okay, so, there's, you know? yeah, it's not, like, the most intelligent, but it's, it's... Yeah. Exactly, but it's funny. It's it, it's not without its merit. Um, this is great, dude. I love this. Yeah, see, I just gotta get going. I gotta get warmed up. Um, you I know, shade mine. Really, I, I'm really, you know, I'm really weird. Like, I I I always try to come up with funny like parodies in my head all the time. And uh, I had the Sisterhood of the Traveling Ants nice. a couple years ago, and so I drew the like these girls like all like reading books and doing stupid stuff that they do in the movies. <laughs> but they're all bug women. Yeah, and I think that's hilarious. I don't know why, but I just do. Um, but yeah, yeah, you know, definitely. Rick and Morty is just awesome. I love their stuff. Yeah, I, I, I started studying uh, Dan Harmon's, uh, his, his uh, tricks to, uh, to plot. You know, he, he didn't make it up himself. He got it from somewhere else, I forget. But it's like an eight-step cycle to creating a plot that will be enjoyed by anyone no matter what. And that, you know, when he ties that structure to all of the movies in the past that have been successful and shows how the movies that haven't been successful don't follow that sort of break absolutely break the point in certain in certain ways and you know so i've actually written since i started that like a couple a couple you know mock scripts that that use it and it, it it's true it really works you know it it tells you how to how to get gain sympathy almost right away for your character and that basically oh yeah it, you know writing a story is manipulation it's how to invoke you got to tell your story and, and, and because it's a little it's a little you're it's an exaggeration mm -hmm. i mean you're not you're not getting like uh you know the story is obviously not enough time for you to sit down and get to know the characters as you would with a person right. so you need to exaggerate you need to be able to sell it to the audience if you can't sell it to the audience then you're wasting your audience's time. Yeah. Create yeah. a narrative. 
Yeah, and I think I mean, a lot of movies don't do that. I think a lot of movies try to ride off the fact that you know somebody in the film. Or, right. it, it's ridiculous. It's right. it's it's like, what am I watching here? Or the action or effects. I, or, I can't stand that. You know, action whoring really pisses me off. Yeah, yeah I mean, they, there has to be there has to be some structure that um, that is designed in an intelligent way or to intelligent enough that a person doesn't have to fight to stay interested in the movie. Exactly. You know, or 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 is clawing their eyes out until the next action scene so that they can see something cool or Well, that's whatever. the thing. I mean, yeah, exactly. And it, it it's you got to follow like you said a formula, something that grounds the character in reality. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, this is a play this is a story takes place in uh in um the sp outer space, and I don't really know anything about outer space, but I can relate to these characters and the fact that they have struggles because everyone right. has struggles. Right. And if they sell that, if they sell that to you within the first five minutes, you're sold. You're yeah. great. But if it's a movie that's like, you know, so, you know, so just like like a piece of cardboard and it's just all about <laughs> right. lights and, and gizmos, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not a moth. <laughs> or, or maybe a lot of people are like moth-like, you know. I mean, there, there's definitely people that like those those movies, and we're not being very specific, but no, no, I, I can come up with a few of them. I mean, yeah, but why? You know, but why? 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 Exactly. Because I'm not going to insult anyone's movie right. choices. It's more my perception of a lot of films. But I would love. I've to... I've always been a newbie, movie snob. I think you and I should probably um, do some kind of an animated thing, and, and it might not have to be like a series or something like that. But you know, if we, you know, combine. Combine our, you know, senses of humor and just write like a, a quick, like five minutes sort of oh, animated, totally. animated story or something like that. Totally. I think we could do something cool. We could do something fun with that. You know, and and you can draw. You know, we can both draw, so we can animate, and I'll just show you the program if you need it. Um, well, that's the thing. Like, I, I'm, you know, it's still intimidating. But it's free. You know, I've got all the stuff up here. Richard Williams Survi um, Animator Survival Kit um, is the single single best. Animated animation uh, book. God, I'm, I can't talk. It's <laughs> the single best book about animation, and it shows you walk cycles and uh, you know bouncing balls and, and whatever. It just explains the theory behind it, and it's actually pretty simple. And um, you know, once you get that down, it's it's a process you can just repeat over and over again, no matter what the thing is. And if your issue isn't figuring out how to portray the characters in each frame and your only issue really is knowing what to do in each frame uh, you know kn knowing knowing the keyframes or you know what you know the spacing or whatever yeah absolutely. then you're then you don't have any issues you really don't have any issues you know you can draw so that we we can do it you know i think it's possible totally doable i i'm intimidated by that that whole set of skills that you know I think you'd be surprised by how quickly you can pick it up, especially you who can draw already. So it's not it's not something where you have a huge learning curve. Right? I, I guess I guess so. You know, it's it's it, I never gave it much thought. I was always like, oh man, you know, those people out there they're doing animation. I always felt it was like a far fetched skill set for me, even though I did go to art school. It's just never I never got around to that. I wish I had thought about it when I was younger. I mean, I told you I you did I, a lot. Of I things. wanted to I wanted to draw. You know, I, I could draw when I was younger, and, and I have this, like, tiger downstairs that I drew when I was, like, freaking five or something. I don't know. And it's really good, too. Um, but, you know, then I, then I started getting, you know, drawing books, and it started seeming like a chore, and I didn't realize that it wasn't like everything else, where, you know, at some point in the future, I will graduate into a point where I can then move on to this and then eventually get a job. Animation and drawing is one of those things where the second you you get good enough, you can participate in the world. Of that's animation. but that's the cool that's the cool part, right? right? Exactly. And I didn't know that. I didn't realize that if I put my mind to it, within a few years, I could be um, I could be you know an animator. Yeah, an animator. So I, working with a group of people that are maybe older than me or whatever, but. Cool stuff. I mean, it's 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 always good, and, it, and it's that's another thing that's really cool. You know, anyone can honestly like yes, there is a talent involved, but you can really, if you put your mind to it, you can actually learn a lot of this stuff. Yeah, a lot of this doesn't come naturally. Yeah, but you you can figure it out. I mean, there's plenty of theories that say you know people have natural inclinations to art. I, I do. I do a, think that it's a learn, but it, you can also learn to be very good. I I was always inclined to. Um, to draw, you know, I could draw what I saw and I could do it 
uh, you know, pretty exactly. Um, and that's not something everyone can do, uh, but it's certainly something I had to work on. And, um, you know, even, even someone who has a natural inclination to do these things has to practice, has to learn oh, the yeah, skills. Oh, yeah, you definitely have to do it. And, I mean, if you don't, well, that's the thing. Being creative, I think, is a kind of an innate talent. Um, that is the talent. But I think learning, like you said, learning how to draw, that's a skill set. That's not, a, that's, it can be a talent, but I think that it's one, only one vehicle in which you can express right. how good you are with drawing. Right. Um, I'm almost about to wrap it up here. I only have one more minute, and, yeah, I'm, I'm, pretty, and I'm pretty settled, actually. Yeah, yours is awesome. I'm gonna once we shut down, I'll, I'll probably record a separate thing where I shade the raptor so that we can, um, when we present the video, we have two shaded images. Oh, I'm, I apologize if I, I just no, don't. Do are you serious? This looks great. I would, you know, and you did it in the time. I, you know, I spent my time trying to figure out how it looked and all that. But your your yours is awesome. It's awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you. Um, before we do, you want to like put them both in the same frame? Yeah, let's do that right now. We got, we have, we're on the money right here. We're on the dot, and done. done. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's. Yeah, there you um, go. Wanna, cool. You want to drag it over? Yeah, you can. Let's drag it over and uh, do this. All right, guys. So we still gotta, you know, figure out how this show is De gonna be developed in general, and performed. Right, and in general, gonna be developed and performed. But I think right now we're pretty settled on uh, once a week we're gonna be doing this. So look forward to our next video. This is Draw Kings. I'm Pat, and I'm Evan. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Yeah. See you next time. Peace.